Hey guys, Ode here, and welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Tonight is the night that we finish our Blitzball journey. We have a few games left to get that Jupiter sigil, and then it's done, in the bag, never have to play Blitzball again. It's been a fun time, but it's been a little tedious. Not gonna lie. Then we're heading to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith, I believe it's called, to catch some monsters, get some tone berries, which are... Pretty rare from what I've heard, so hopefully we're not there forever. And then we're going to start working on our AP grinding and getting ready for some of the dark aeons. So I'm real excited for that. You guys can find me streaming Monday through Thursday at 9.30 p.m. and Sundays at 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Twitch link will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Wish me luck. And as always, take care. Meals, meals, my eels, my friend. Thank you very much for the subscription. Happy four months, four months in a row. I'll say it every time, but it doesn't feel like it's been four months since we all met you and you and I and Shadow, but thank you very kindly. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. You're the best. How's it going? It's going well. Just getting started. Crystal's dueling. Valencia dueled earlier. It's, uh, we're dueling. I got a lot of sphere stuff to do, um, but... I'm going to start with the Blitz, and we're going to freaking finish the Blitz tonight. Because I'm ready for it to be over. Dualception. Oh my gosh. We have three games of Blitzball to, to play tonight, and we're done. Forever. And then, we can... We don't have to go out. Hey, Nessus, what's up, buddy? Let me get you a shout. Everyone get those blitz points ready. I'm going to disable that once I finish because I don't want to play anymore. Thank you so much for the raid, buddy. I hope you had a good stream. Um, Shout out. Nessus is playing Final Fantasy VI right now. Just finished the Cultist Tower. Nice. That took me a long time to do. Uh, cause you get to that like top echelon of floors and you get those guys that cast Merton and it just melts your face off. At least it did for me. And I don't know if I died, how many times I died there, but damn. Seemed like a good stopping point. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. You got to find like, I don't know. It's like kind of like when, you know, just streaming in general, you don't want to start a big thing and stop in the middle. You got to find a good, a good stopping point. A lot of times. Oh, you had the, Mo the Moogle charm. You are a smarter man than I. I just... I just walked. I just... We walked. I fought everything. Many, many times. Hey, Felix, how are you? Yeah, Merton. Merton's freaking brutal. But thanks again, buddy, for the raid. I appreciate you. I don't even need marks anymore. I'm just going for it. We're just going to... We're gonna crush these, crush these guys. No mercy. As they say in the show, zombie, what is it? Strike first, strike hard. No mercy. Yeah, Merton sucks. You won, you did one battle there and nope, 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 nope. It's brutal since it does, it melts everything. It literally melts everything. Ooh. Yeah, I remember doing a little bit in my compilation video for Final Fantasy VI where uh, the guy cast Burton. It starts going off, and I cut to a scene of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom where the guy... Wait, is it Temple of Doom? No, it might be Raiders. Where the guy... Yeah, I think it's Raiders. When they open the, the arc and the guy's face melts. Has anyone ever told you you have a radio show host voice? I mean, I don't know if it was you. Somebody mentioned it last week, but I really think it's the microphone. It's not necessarily me. I mean, I have a low-ish voice, but not like that low. The microphone definitely adds a little bit of bass to my voice. Hey, Mass, how are you? Just waking up, I see. I think it's the voice. Well, thanks, Crystal. If that's a good thing, then thank you. If that's a 
bad thing, then, well, it's a bad thing. Yikes. Um, we're going to break two of them, pass the wedge, and then, like usual, Wedge is going to own their faces. All right, we should have no problem getting through this guy. We're getting a high enough level that it's not it's not really that big of an issue in general to get through some of these tackles. It's a good. It means you sound cool and entertains us viewers. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad my voice alone can entertain you. So I can turn the camera off, basically, is what you're saying. Uh, if you guys hadn't noticed, there's now a community goal. Um, for me to self-destruct Kimari on the final boss of the game. <laughs> Which won't be that hard to do. But I just thought it was funny. And I think a, a few of you asked for it. So it's going to happen. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm all in. And Wedge is just like a tank. Took three tackles. Lines up from downtown. And the crowd goes wild. So there's the self-destruct of the day. We can do that. I can accommodate that. Thank you for your redemption. And Felix, thank you for your contribution to the community goal 1090 coffee beans that's a lot of java oh through the defense makes a u-turn tries to break through and pass the ball like usual hiya thank you meals for your contribution to the community goal of 2000 coffee beans bolta bro i'm sorry buddy you're just not getting through this I'm just going to do a tech. Doesn't even matter. Nessus, thank you for your contribution. I wanted to make it like, you know, up there. I was originally going to do like 30,000, but I'm like, this is like, this is like a big deal. So I think, I think there's enough points floating around out there that we can make it happen in 10 days. Thank you, Crystal, for your 250 beans. Coffee beans. Coffee. Yeah, it's serious business. Serious business. I mean, we make it to the we make it to the end after all the time, and then poor Kamari is just gonna sacrifice himself. <clears throat> Sorry, he's got a little choked up there. Didn't want Kamari to go. That does mean you're going to need to schedule the final boss ahead of time. Does it? What do you mean by that? So everybody can see it? Um, I'll <laughs> yeah, I'll try to kind of plan it out a little bit. See what I can do. Sometimes a sacrifice is needed for the change to happen. Full the greater good. If you're making a community goal, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do for that. Um, yeah. Something I was also thinking, um, is I have another save point a little bit before, like, what I'm doing now. I might do a save point, like, once I get the last ultimate weapon. Um... Or maybe when I get Wakas. Just so that maybe I can load it from there and go do the final area like that. Rather than doing it when I'm all buffed up. I would be a little sad if I'm otherwise streaming and didn't realize it. I totally understand. Especially if you contributed a good amount of points to seeing it happen. I get that. Don't worry. I will try. I will definitely keep that in mind. And try to um, give you guys a heads up. Anybody have the trumpets ready? Also, FYI, am I not on the game? I'm on the game, okay. Scared me. 
I'm already way overpowered for the final boss. Am I? Really? Okay. Just for monster cat, must monster catching. Hey, Gerkscare, what's up, dude? Thank you for the hundred bits. Oh well. So it's it's just kind of pointless. I might as well just go in like I am. Somebody found their trumpet. It's probably Valencia. Thanks, Valencia. Thank you for the host. May all your homies and friends see your host and come chill. It took like four rounds of unit double casting flare for me. Ooh. I don't even have double cast yet on anybody or flare for that. What was the app, Matza? Bob and weave, brother. All right. Uh, break you. I break you. I pass. Final boss is easy. I mean, what else is what else is new with Final Fantasy though? Final boss is usually pretty easy. You know what boss wasn't easy? Freaking Unileska. That could have easily been the last boss. Gerksker, what's up, my man? How are you doing, by the way? What's been going on? How's uh, how's Finn's stream been going? I was secretly hoping that he was gonna get moved. His his work schedule was gonna get moved again so he could stream early in the morning like he used to, so I could actually watch. <laughs> Because <laughs> I miss watching his stream. You know, let's get in Seymour Flux are the worst. Yeah, Seymour Flux was 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 challenging, but not nearly as much as Unileska. It, it required some serious kind of like strategy and preparation. And then just like some de like definite like execution when you got into the battle. I almost one shot at it, but I failed. I failed you all. Bow, 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 bow. All right, let me get these two guys here. Oh, their attacks is so, so low. That was actually a good kick for four. Get around you and... Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I was going to grab all three of them. Um, let's just do this and we'll pass. Good luck. Doing all right here, grubbing on some Mickey D's and feeling lazy. What'd you get for Mickey D's? Should be happening in a week or so. Oh, okay. His schedule is changing. I mean, I, I'm not like... For him, it probably sucks because working graveyard shift or whatever he was doing is probably no fun. But at the same time, I'm excited because that like... When I was first started streaming again in February, that's who I would jam to like every morning. Because he'd always be on when I get to work and or when I first get up in the morning. So I do miss hanging out with you guys. Huzzah! I remember the last time I had McDonald's. I probably had chicken nuggets the last time I had it though. Probably coming home from a trip somewhere. Double cheeseburger and fries, nothing big. I get you. Nice, easy, cheap. Fills you up a little bit. Doesn't make you feel like terrible about yourself. Not like last week when we had in and out and I got two hamburgers because I was feeling fat. I don't know. I just, the past few times that we had gotten in and out, I just, I don't know. I finished my, my double double and my, my French fries and I just wasn't, I don't know. I was, I guess I was kind of content, but I was still a little hungry. So, and I don't want more French fries because that's just kind of like, eh. So the extra, the extra burger, it was like, it definitely filled me up more. It's just, you know, there's the, the law of diminishing returns where it's just not as good as that first one. So I don't know. I'll keep experimenting with it, I guess. I had some kebabs earlier, so didn't need too much. Oh, nice. Kebabs are tasty. I lost that. Wow. Do you like gourmet burgers or fast food burgers? When you say gourmet burgers, uh, what do you mean? Like from where? I mean, lately, like when we get uh, takeout fast food burgers, we pretty much stick to, uh, we'll get like In-N-Out most of the time. Um, I don't, we don't really ever go to like Wendy's or a Jack in the Box or I can't remember the last time I went to Burger King. Uh, if we go to McDonald's, I usually get, we usually get chicken nuggets, which 
is usually like only like coming home from a road like when we're traveling it'll be like on the way home from somewhere 10 to 30 dollar burger is gourmet homemade burgers yeah i mean homemade burgers usually turn out pretty well for me uh fast food is in and out mcdonald's yeah i mean i'd say probably like 75 to 80 percent of the time we're getting fast food burgers which i like in and out um we tried freddy's steak burgers a few weeks ago and that was pretty good um and i also like culver's it's just culver's isn't very close to us anymore uh so we haven't had that in a while uh we went when we went out to eat two weeks ago on friday for the first time in for freaking ever um we went to a burger place and probably got i don't know the burgers that are probably like i don't know 16 17 dollars and they were good i'm trying to remember what mine had like bacon and like a chimichurri sauce and uh grilled onions it was pretty tasty i liked it Yo, yo, yo. Oh, no, Blitzball. What's up, Mai? Yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm on my last three games of Blitzball, Mai, and then I got the Jupiter Sigil, and we could never think about Blitzball ever again. Um, and I'm once I finish this, I'm probably going to disable the uh, the Blitzball point redemption. Yeah, it's almost done. I know. Almost freaking done. How are you? How was your day? It's not like cards where I can just like pop in, play a game in a couple minutes. Can we never see it again, like ever? Well, that's the thing. Does Blitzball happen in Final Fantasy X too, Valencia? How about Red Robin? I haven't been to Red Robin in ages. I the few times that I have been there, I enjoyed it. I mean, come on, the commercial. Red Robin, yum. And their bottomless steak fries. So they were pretty good. Yeah. It was all right. I want to go to bed. Aw. Well, I'm sorry that your day wasn't amazing. Uh, I appreciate you stopping in and, and hanging out for a little bit before you go to bed. But I just haven't, Valencia, I just haven't been there in, in f so long. I don't really remember. I'd give anything for one of those thick, classy burgers. Hmm. Like thick with two C's. No blitz, unfortunately. It's off season in 10 2. Dang. Oh, it's 3 p.m.? Oh, okay. Are you in, like, Hawaii or something? Or where are you in the world? Australia, maybe? Is it 3 o'clock? It may be. No, it's, like, 5 o'clock. Where are you? Yeah, thickness. Oh, you're in Tokyo. Hell yeah. I don't know Valencia. I don't have the uh, the time zones memorized. What is what is Hawaii? Like, 6, six o'clock right now? It's, like, three hours earlier than Pacific time, right? in the specific time that's cool were you born and raised in tokyo or you just uh move there hawaii is eight or nine right now no it's not it's nine it's ten o'clock right now for me there's no way it's nine o'clock it's at least two hours early i gotta look this up you know what time out what time again 7 p.m here in hawaii there you go 7 p.m three hours i told you see now, I grew up in Denver, but moved to Tokyo about four years ago. That's awesome. Is that something that you were kind of always wanted to do? Or was it uh, for work and stuff? I know it's not 3 p.m. I know, I know. Learning time zones. If we're not learning at least one, one thing every stream, I'm not doing my job. We learned about the most dangerous animals in the world last night. And now we're learning about time zones. I just found out me and Oats have the same time zone, but mine is CST. Um, then it wouldn't be the same time zone. My time zone is PST. 7 a.m. here in Austria. We were watching uh, Spider-Man Far From Home tonight, and at one point, Maz, uh, they were in Austria, and I thought of you. I'm like, I know someone that lives in Austria. My wife was like, cool. Cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the city was called. It was some like real long name. We don't have to go. Whoa, whoa. Wait, is it 10 o'clock? It's 10 o'clock for me. MJ Sploosh. What's up, buddy? How was your uh, how was your stream? Thank you so much for the raid. Thanks for thinking of me. 
MJ Swish? Dang. Oh, you're playing Chrono Trigger tonight. You had enough of your Batman after last night? After my after the raid and the energy from the Raiders just pushed you through that fight? Uh, yeah, we're done on time, same time zone. You suck now? I told you I was in specific time. <laughs> the raid. Yeah, double raid. We just got double raided. Hell yeah. Sci-Fire, buddy. What's up? How was fall, guys? Did we get eight wins tonight at least? Let me get you a shout out real fast. There it is. MJ, yes, that raid last night. He was going to... Let me tell you a quick story. MJ was playing Batman Arkham City. He was on hard mode and he was on this fight. He said he tried it like 200 times. We raided him. He was about to get off. He's like, I got to try a few more times now, right? And we he finished the fight within like three fights after we got there. So he needed that like just the pep talk. Got some Phil Jackson out there like, yo, so what you got to do? Can't give up. Chug your Space Jam water. Get back out there. Cypher, I got 10, but a lot of it was pretty rough. It seems like the general population of Fall Guys is getting better. That's kind of what it seems like to me. Or you're just having off days. Juggalo, what is up, my friend? How are you? Are you working right now? You're working hard or hardly work it? Hey. Uh, 3-0, okay. What else we got? Heidi ho! That double raid is real. I was coming here soon anyways. Ah, no worries. Not a problem. Look at Wedge. He is just a baller. 27 goals. Nobody is even close to that. It's double the next closest. I love it. A true inspiration from the oat boat. Hey, you know, sometimes we just got to carry that energy. Probably both. I've been getting wrecked on Hexagon. And that's your game. Yeah. I don't know. Hexagon, like... You, like, the few times that I watched you just, like, crush it, you're like, I'm like, man, he's making it look so easy. Like, he could read their mind. But then when people are super unpredictable and they just keep running real fast, um, then you're just like, well, I don't know. Should I keep jumping? If I keep jumping, I'm going to fall. I'm pretty bad at Hexagon 2 meals. I've won two crowns. Yes, two crowns, Sci-Fire. Get on my level. Um... And one was on Hexagon. I actually haven't played Fall Guys in like a little over a week now. But mainly because my brother hasn't been able to play and I kind of just play with him usually. For funsies. It's okay. I'm here. The party can start. The stream was just getting warmed up. But it's all ready for you. What's up, Blake? How are you, buddy? How was your day? How's your life? How is the one, the only, the Blakester? I haven't played in a while either. Just play casually. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Me too. I mean, I, I, I tend to rage more when I play by myself. So I'll be like, hey, brother, you want to play a couple games? He's like, sure. I'm going to go grab some feed. BRB. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait. I thought me being here brought life to the party. Everybody being here does, but... Tonight, Blake has an aura about him, and I can I can just feel it for some reason. He's brought he's brought the the good luck with him. Are we playing the Ronsos right now? Yeah, we are. I'm good, man. How are you? The stream is super successful, and my stream now looks so dope because Craig Classic is the best. What did Craig do? Awesome, 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 awesome. I am I following you right now, Blake? I'm pretty sure I am. I can't remember. Um, he helped me by building the backgrounds. Ooh, nice. Backgrounds like Photoshop type backgrounds or like legit, like he helped you build real backgrounds. I think well, I even, uh, that's freaking awesome. I'm not sure. Are you? Do you love me? I mean, I'm pretty sure I do. Welcome to my house. I can check right now, though, while this ball goes in the net. I'm, I'm fairly certain I did. I feel like I went there on a raid once. Uh, what do we have? The Wait. 
I am now. Oops. I did. I'm sorry. That's why. I was like, man, you were you were streaming. Why didn't I get a notification? I must have not have turned the notifications on. But it's like one of those things where like you show up in a raid or you're recommended to go watch something from somebody else, and you're just like hanging out, having such a good time. You forget to raid or you forget to follow, and then it's like an hour and a half later, and you're like, wow. If I follow now, it would be a little awkward. So I'm gonna wait till they go offline and then I'll follow. That's kind of my my mindset and my thinking when that happens. I'm like, God, I've been talking for like two hours already, like like pretty constantly. If I follow, it's gonna be super weird. Oh, you're welcome. Real backgrounds, he built it for you. He offered and just did it, damn. Okay, just to clarify, like he built it with like a hammer and saw and wood or like, like he created them on a computer i was gifted a sub on bar trolls channel before i followed him when i followed he noticed yeah isn't that weird you're like well the least i can do is shoot you a follow if somebody just gifted me a sub i mean yeah it's like oh so yeah i don't know i feel like the streamer would call me out like oh okay yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, I have a, a strict rule, at least two hours of watching before I realize and decide if I want to follow somebody. A computer, I guess overlay is the, oh, okay, overlays, sick. It's midnight, ah, that's okay. I wasn't sure if maybe you guys lived in the same town and you guys like put something together. Bye, thank you for the contribution to the community goal. For those of you that didn't notice, we have set a community goal to self-destruct Kamari on the final boss of the game. It is a bit of a steep goal, but it is super worth. 6%, we're getting there. 1992 from Blake. Thank you, buddy. Kamari is cursing all of you right now. He's secretly sitting there hoping that, that this does not go through. MJ, thank you. Zombie, thank you for the donation, the contribution, the 2,000, the 2,500. We're getting there. Kamari is getting a little anxious. And so is, so is this Ronzo team because I'm going to throw a jack shot at them. Damn. You just got taken out. What did you play today, Blake? Or what do you play? I actually have it up right here. I could have looked. Uh, we got some fall guys. Hold on. Wedge is doing wedge things again, so I gotta, I gotta shoot. Gotta shoot my shot, you know? Uh, what do we got? We got fall guys. We got... Oh, damn. Hold on, I wanna pull this up real fast. You're way out of your league. With the Ronsos, Matthew? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. <clears throat> I want to see this overlay real fast. I can see like a little picture of it. I'm the best. Well, there's not a question there. Whoa. Blake, where'd you get that intro? That thing is super trippy and sick. I like that a lot. Does Kray do like graphical stuff it's pretty cool you can't do it kid you can do whatever i put my mind to my dad my mom told me so the intro i found online and bought oh nice yeah i did the same thing i bought a package for the stuff that i use right now um it'll probably like spoiler it's probably going to be changing in the in the near-ish distant future uh, just so y'all know, but yeah, definitely. It was kind of like my first one. I was like, oh, I kind of like this one. Let's just, let's, let's go for it. I got you. Thanks. Thanks guys. My mom told me I'm special. It must be true then. It must be true. I hope y'all had a good day, Matthew. And welcome to the final two games of the Blitzball of our Blitzball career. I streamed Fall Guys today. I'm playing Mario Party 2 with my fiance tomorrow. I may be sleeping on the couch. Damn, I mean, no mercy, right? No freaking mercy. 
if you don't go to bed upset at each other and with a giant peeling off blister in the middle of your palm, you didn't do it right. Are you playing on 64? Oh, I'm coming back and seeing Jack quotes. I love it. Yeah, apparently it went over my head right in the beginning. So rip the dream. Yeah, Blake, those are some sweet graphics. Yeah, those are nice. I like them. You did a really nice job. And then I start Skyward Sword on Thursday. Is that the one that's on Switch? Well, he attempted the jack shot and couldn't do it. So yeah, that actually happened with me. The first attempt at doing the jack shot on the boat, I didn't even know what to do. So I failed. We failed. I don't see why you just can't let me win. My wife, every time I touch the switch. Yeah, you know what? There's no... <laughs> That's when you say, you know what? It may be hard now. It may be frustrating. But. You'll thank me later. When we have kids. And you can destroy them at all the games. You're welcome. I'm playing all the games. I'm on recoded and I want to die. You're playing all the games um, in what, my? I'm playing on the 64. Hell yeah. And Skyward is oh the Wii one that's a big fat rip yeah I failed so yeah it's super super 100% like if you don't finish that game with it feeling like you're putting a hole through your palm you did something wrong recoded is the worst one is that oh Kingdom Hearts what did I miss oh I've been on this wild mission that I call getting my PhD in Kingdom Hearts I missed the first part of that I have not played Recoded. I've played 1, 2, um, 2.8 Remix, I think it was called. That's about it. And then we've played through like three quarters of three. Kingdom Hearts storyline is more complicated than medical school. Damn. In 2016, Oreos advertised these things called Oreo Garve Balls. And their motto was bite into our spooky balls. This, oh, grave balls. This Halloween. I can't imagine why that didn't take off. Like that should be every Halloween. People are like, I can't wait to get my garv balls. I can't wait. It's like move over pumpkin spice latte. Here come the garv balls. The Oreo garv balls. I've been huge Kingdom Hearts since I was 10. Yeah, I remember playing Kingdom Hearts on my PS2 um, when I was like a sophomore in high school, a junior in high school. So I was like 16, maybe. Freaking loved it. Sitting there on the weekend, jamming on some hot, flaming hot Cheetos and zebra cakes like like kids do. And oh, it was so good. Good, good times. I've beaten all the games at least three times. The story is effed, but I've played it enough times to kind of get it. Yeah, the organization 13 to me is just kind of like, eh. But yeah, with all the Ansem stuff. I'd have to play through them all. My, I, that's like the one thing that my wife went through and played with me was we got through the first and second Kingdom Hearts together. Oh, I know it was a spelling mistake, but I think Garv Balls is funnier than Grave Balls. I'll write my thesis on darkness like Ansem. Ansem the wise, not Ansem. Or something. That would be amazing. You write a dissertation on the Kingdom Hearts uh, plot. That would be amazing. Dang, you old oats, man. I know. That's why I'm called Old Meal Man. Hi, Pow Poots. Pow Poots. How are you? Craid, my friends. We were just talking about you. My friend Blake here was telling me how you hooked him up with some sick graphics today. And then I proceeded to pull up his link or his Twitch page. It's pretty great, man. It's pretty good. You're not joking about the Kingdom Hearts story. Timeline is even harder to follow. Yeah, it's like organic chemistry, Kingdom Hearts storyline, you know, organic chemistry. Oh my God. <laughs> Craig and Powpoots, I beat y'all here. Blake was on top of it. The funny thing is, was I, I didn't act. I wasn't actually following Blake. So he is a gentleman for even even looking my way, considering I wasn't even following him yet. Kingdom Hearts is like the Star Wars sequels. They wrote as they went. 
Yeah, they got somebody new to write the, the, each subsequent one, and that person hadn't seen the previous one. Played Kingdom Hearts 3 and loved it. Worth the money I spent on it. I mean, it's still fun. It, don't get me wrong. I actually, I got to play like a sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek of it um, at Comic-Con a few years, like the year before it came out. I got to play uh, the Annie's Room level. Uh, and the part where you go to the, the toy palace, Al's Toy Barn. And then part of like climbing up the mountain to go fight one of the Titans. So I'm flexing a little bit. Not that it means anything now. Uh, but yeah, I did it before y'all did. I was cooking pizza. That's completely solid reason to not be here before Blake. Yeah, I got a follow out. of We got some follows just from the graphics. So. Oh, we're done. That was a quick game. I have not seen someone like cut a player or the contract expire and not get re-signed. Like what? What up, gamer? My friend, Gamer Haas. What's up, buddy? G-A-M-E-R. I always have the hardest time typing this. What's up, dude? You were playing No Man's Sky. How is your stream? Welcome, my friends. Welcome, friends of the Gamer House. My name is Oats. That is a wonky looking red 13, but I love it. My name is Oat. I'm wearing a Pop Tart shirt. So, this is a, a quality stream just in that. But I'm playing Final Fantasy 1 through 15 in that order. Currently on Final Fantasy 10, playing, well, my last game of Blitzball ever. Ever, 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 ever. And you're just in time. Pop Tarts Liddy. Okay, I missed a little bit of chat, so let me scroll up for a second here. Oh, I forgot my normal intro. Oh, bleh. Juggalo! I once read that he, Nobu Umatsu, wrote much of the plot of Kingdom Hearts after a night drinking, and I was like, that makes a lot of damn sense. Juggalo? Not Nobu. -ow. Nobu. Frick, what the heck was his name? Uh, looks super solid. Yes, Blake, I agree. It looks... It looks solid. I like all the little characters on the bottom. Those are fun. You got some talent there, Kraid. Hook a brother up. I'm just kidding. Uh, but now I'm eating my cooked pizza while watching your stream, and it's wonderful. What kind of pizza did you make? Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. Hiya. Ended early tonight. Pop-Tarts, yeah. What's new? Let's see, cat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Uh, I finished Coldest Tower tonight. Yeah. He uh, beat up all those people and cheated by using a Moogle charm. My party is getting real strong. Yeah. Yep. That emote is absolute fuego. It's so cool. He really outdid himself on that one. I mowed a pain in the ace yard. Then now I'm at worky work. But I'm sure the, uh, the grass and the lawn looks fantastic. He really did. Yeah. It's super cool. That one is awesome. It has like a little bit of like a Dragon Ball Z vibe to it, but just like, like, just like the power, the earth power. What time is it where you are, Juggalo? That is a good question. When 20 in the morning. So you basically work just a graveyard shift. What time do you get off? Or do you do like a, like a six to six or, eh, oof, it does. Is that bad? Was I, was I not supposed to say that? Yeah, I, I like it though. I think it looks really good. If that means anything. We are playing, of course, the Albed Sykes for our very last game. It wouldn't be Blitzball if we didn't. This is not going in. We got him poisoned, though. Welcome to my house. I mowed the yard at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Damn, how big was the yard? Was it like a football field or more? Holy smokes. That's craziness. Um, and then it's not that big of a yard. It should have took more than... What happened? 
how did a 30 minute job turn into four hours? The lawnmower broke and you had to cut it with scissors. Some of those like left handed safety scissors that like you went to cut the blades of grass and they just folded over. Damn. Grass was like eight inches and it was hot and humid. Nice. He was drunk. Yeah, he just kept cutting the same circle of grass over and over again. <laughs> hey, we got Nimrook poison. These are going to be a bit easier. Smells Odie in here. Smells dusty in here. What's up, buddy? How are you? Those random encounters in the yard getting to you? Yeah. Remember, you guys ever see Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? It's kind of like that. He must have got hit with that shrink ray, and he was fighting off ants, finding cupcakes, all sorts of fun stuff. The sprinklers came on. It was like a tidal wave. Peachy. Good. I've been seeing a lot more Among Us uh, Dusty. It looks like a lot of fun. He was catching Pokemon. That makes sense. Oops. It's super fun. At times, like the few people that I've watched playing it, sometimes it's too it seems too easy for them to find out like, oh, this it's this person and this person, and the game ends really quickly. Um, so I don't know. It just seemed like it seems fun, don't get me wrong, but it seems like at times it's a little easy, but maybe it was just that particular group was just, I don't know, bad at it or something. Super obvious. Yeah, I fought spider snakes in Oglop and a couple ogres. Dang. That Oglop probably was disgusting. This pro oh, it might get there now. Maybe. Just maybe. Tea and cheese it time. Whoop de doo. What kind of cheese? It's regular? Talking like white cheddar. We got Tabasco, buffalo wing, peanut butter, um, extra toasted, big cheese it's, little cheese it's. I don't know what other kind of cheese it's are there. I don't even know. I'm just naming anything I can think of. Ooh, wow. Judah grabs the ball. Extra pasty? Oh, extra toasty. I'm like, oh, my favorite. Cheese it. Extra pasty. Ugh. Extra toasty. Okay, I've had this before. And I pulled out my headset again. What up, Shadow? What have I walked into? Um, Juggalo was trying to go through and explain how he was cutting grass today. And a job that should have taken him 30 minutes took him, took him four hours. So we were coming up with scenarios why that was the case. Shadow, my buddy, my pal, my friend. Call me buddy, pal. Call me buddy. Pal, guy, buddy. So yeah, I told I said he got, he got hit with that shrink ray. And he was on an adventure like the kids in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. For those of you that are old enough to remember that. Uh-oh. We might actually get scored on. Shoot. Damn it. Haha, <laughs> hello. Hey, Ro, my friend. Shadow is my new best friend. He joined my Discord yesterday. Hell yeah. Shadow is... He's a good, he's a good guy. I don't know how he's still alive over there in Australia after all of the things that we learned last night, but he's a good guy and he's apparently immortal because damn, I'm back these stupid app froze. Ah, that's a bummer. Ah, oh, shucks. I don't think I'm going to shoot. I can't really shoot it here. I have not. I, I could try. We would need a pretty good sphere shot, though. Or we just get freaking dragon kicked by that person. Everything can kill you in Oz. Shadow be cool. I know his shadow is cool. I knew that. It's just you guys need to learn that. Australia has a lot of big and scary creatures and it's not even the big scary ones poots it's like the little ones the sea creatures pretty much is the main one but damn are you gonna shoot it oh man oh it's halftime thank god Whew. 
Yeah, I encounter at least 50 drop bears every day. Oh my god. Okay, so is the drop, like, drop bear equals koala bear, or is this a different thing? Dang, dudes! And dudettes? Basically, yeah, the too long, didn't read uh, description, is everything in Australia can kill you. Hi, Saucy. Welcome. The quack attack. Because that's what I refer to her people as. Uh, hi. I like, I like Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, Saucy. Very, very good to see you. And I hope you had a fun time playing Half-Life 2. Are you doing a new playthrough of Half-Life 2? Or are you still trying to finish that initial playthrough you started a little while back? But friends of Saucy, hi. Welcome. My name is Oat. We are on our last half of Blitzball ever. And I would be really sad if we lost. But thanks again for the raid. I appreciate it. What's up, Saucy? Oh, you're playing it again. A different difficulty or uh, or what? We know. Well, thanks, Zach. I'm just throwing that out there just in case um, somebody might be new. I know what you need for Blitzball Oats. What do we need for Blitzball? Power! Hell yeah. I need, I, yeah, I need it for the second half. We gotta drink our Space Jam water. I know I've already said Space Jam water twice tonight. That's probably too many times to say that. Drop bears are made up. They're supposedly aggressive koalas. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Make it happen. Oh, hard mode. Okay. How, uh, how's the hard mode going? Because if I remember correctly, you were having a tough time with regular mode, right? Water. Power. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, homies. No mercy. Get my water here. I can't pass this, so I gotta shoot. I could dribble. Yeah, you told me about drop bears yesterday, but for some reason, I was a little confused, and I thought drop bears and koala bears were the same thing. But drop bears are basically like the urban legend, is what I'm from what I'm gathering now. Okay, we might get this. That's okay, Shadow. Let's go. Koalas are drop bears. But are they? Yeah, I played like seven months ago when I had zero gaming sense. Okay, so you're doing a little bit better now. A little bit, you know, let's wa not walk around the corner, jingling a tambourine, and then wonder why we die. They're made up. A lot of non aussies think they're real. Nice. Is it kind of like the Chupacabra and Bigfoot in, in, in line with those kind of things? Oh, we are gonna die. We're about to get put into a Al Bed Oreo. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. Just a very aggressive koala. Okay. Fair enough. Please win game. Blake, I will sure try, buddy. I'm going to give it my damnedest. I'm feeling pretty good about it. We got the power at halftime. So it's looking it's looking better. We're keeping the ball on this side of the sphere most of the second half thus far. So I'm feeling okay. This is going to be a real rough shot here. We might be able to get it. Oh, hoo -hoo, that was luck and a half. A 13 going into a 19 catch. That should not have gone in. But... The power got us through. Take that ball. Damn. I just think it's funny, our very, very last game of the season, of all the Blitzball, we play the Sykes again. They've been our weakness. The only team, well, that's not true. We lost to the Goers. Uh, in the tournament, but that one didn't count because I was using the OG. The OG scrubbers. Was that a shot? For real? Is there even like a 1% chance of a, uh, a zero shot going into the goal? Mm, let's try this. 
Have you only been playing Blitzball so far? Yes, sir. This is my last game. I'll show you how to jack shot. Boom. Shaka. Laka. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my Blitzball. And then I'm gonna go to the, uh, I think I'm gonna go to the Cavern of Faith or Stolen Faith or whatever it's called and work on killing some stuff there because I want to unlock the tone berry in the monster arena so I can start getting some uh, some grinding done. Nope, you have not missed a thing. Blitzball doesn't really count as a thing, so do not worry. Oh my god. Oh, less than a minute left. Count it down with me. Get out of your hand. Rip the dream. Sorry, Balta. Maybe I'll go over him. Nope. Snag that right out of the air. Water. Air water. Yoink. Man, brother's got those those baseball mittens. Oh yeah, shout out, we got a community goal now. By the way. It's pretty amazing. Uh-oh. Boop. Ooh, we did not lose it. Oh, we did not get it there. Damn, that last one took a lot off. The game is over! Blitz Ball is complete. The side quest is finally freaking over. Oh my god. We've done it, we've beat the game. It doesn't come up on mobile? Aw. Pog Champ! I told you I'd win, Blake. Just for you, we did it. I has the tea and I has the snacks. We good. Woohoo! No more blitz ball. No, that doesn't work. I told you I'm turning that off. You're a big fat, you're a butthead. Why would you do that to me? Why? I thought we were friends. A perfect 10 and 0, 30 points. I didn't even get a chance to get out of this, this game yet. League season over. Yeah, I'm turning that off. I'm going to refund all of those points. Uh, cause yeah. Congratulations. The Besaid Oryx have ended the season at number one. Please accept this prize. Drum roll, please. I know you can't hear that, but I'm drum rolling on my desk. El Jupiter Sigil. It's time to do, 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 do. Wedge is the top scorer. I am not surprised. Because Wedge is the best. X Potion is all we get for that. The Visayed Orox team time level do, 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 do. increased to three, and your scout level increased to level two. And freaking fantastic. Let's get out of here. I I can't play more bits blitz ball right now, guys. Splash. Thank you, MJ. Thank you. Get bodied. I like the kitty. Wedge was 100% the best. It's time to do, 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 do. Crystal's like, no more blitz. Um, hold on. Not today, Satan. Not, Not today. today. Yep, that's kind of how I'm feeling about Blitz right now. It's time to do, 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 do. <laughs> Drink the man, all these things are flying in. Um 
No, I'm seriously going in to disable it right now. At least for to the rest of today. I'm gonna refund your points, don't worry. <laughs> I just can't take it. Actually, uh, well, the Shadow's at work right now. Shadow, are you are you available at the moment? Are you are you busy? It's time to do, 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 do. <laughs> I'll take a refund with a bonus. Blake, my friend, thank you for the $5 dancing kitty donation. I appreciate it. And I'm going to need you to duel. Yeah, I don't want to get... No one wants to get sent to the Shadow Realm. But thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Um, Could you refund Nessus and Valencia 2,000 points for their Blitzball? Please and thank you. If you have a second. Um, What, what kind of bonus, Nessus? What does that mean? Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. I'm gonna save this here game. Is that a thing we can do? Can we refund points? Yes, we can. Um, with mod view on Twitch, you can refund points. And you can also clear like the, uh, the queue if there's stuff that hasn't been completed yet or you're kind of waiting or somebody redeems points while you're not streaming. Um, oh yeah, I forgot you're on mobile. If you can't, let me know and I can, I can get on that. What kitty is that? This ew. <laughs> You're so great. Well, thank you. Boots, what kind of pizza were you eating? Was it homemade? Was it DiGiorno, Red Baron, uh, Totino's, Red Brick Oven, um, California Pizza Kitchen? Oddview does not work on mobile, but it but it is eh. I can do it real quick. Maybe. At some point, the dueling will become too much for you. How come I don't see uh, the mod view right now on my thing? What the crap, man? I'm gonna go get ready for bed in a few minutes. And then I will send you to the Shadow Realm. I don't know how many times the duel has to pop up for me to go to the Shadow Realm, but we're probably right on the edge right now. I can't even find mod on mobile. I can't even find mod right now and I'm on my computer. Oh, there it is. It's, it's the sword. One moment, please. Um, I made it. It was Margarita Pizza. You're like a gosh darn wizard in the kitchen. Boots. Juggalo, thank you for the host, buddy. Now put down the trumpet. You are like a wizard. Like I said, a wizard in the kitchen. Do you guys have a pizza stone or how do you make your pizzas? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Channel points. Craig can, can vouch, I bet. Screw the rules, I have the money. <laughs> Where are the point? I know I've done this once before, but I don't remember how. Oh, there's there they are. Uh, watch the abridged series, damn it. I'm sorry. Um, there we go. Reject and refund the points. Reject, refund the points. That one's complete. Complete. Um, we got self-destructs coming up. Those ones are not complete yet. Okay, awesome. Sick! There's no sword on mobile. Interesting. Interessante. Why are you yelling at me, Blake? I was very busy today with work. I was working on my pool. Um, ever since we bought the house, the pool light and the, the light in the pool and the light in the hot tub have not worked. So I was trying to mess with those, like take the, I took them out of the pool and I was trying to replace them, but then there's something going on with the, like, with the power. It's not getting there. I don't know. You know, the power, um, it exists in different spots. Something called home chef. Oh, well. It sounds delicious. We had, I threw a bunch of chicken into a, a crock pot pressure cooker type deal. And um, 
It's like the fa I can just throw it in there and set it for like an hour. And I threw a bunch of like, um, like a tikka masala type spices in there. Um, so we'll have that for the next couple days of meals. Cause I just finished up the uh, the salmon tonight. I'm gonna go to to the makalani real fast to get my new weapon upgraded. Here we go. Anyways, good night all. Nessus, thank you buddy for the raid. Always great to see you. I hope you sleep well, and we'll talk to you uh, real soon. The pool is sacred. The trumpet, Crystal, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Pool is sacred. Money is a thing. <laughs> I, I have like none because, you know, I want a house too. Bills. Yeah, bills suck up a lot of your cash. I never noticed that polar bear pelt on the floor, and I'm offended. Oh my god. I never noticed that. Has that always been there? Damn. I'd host if I could. That's okay, Shadow. What up, Reverse Flash? You dodging light lightning bolts right now? I'm not, actually. I'm going back to the Macarena Forest. We're going to dance a little and upgrade one of our weapons. Never ending. I thought you were in Thunder Plains. Oh, no, no worries, buddy. I actually dodged lightning already. That is done and finished and swept under the rug. We are we are finished with that one, thankfully. Got a lot of sphere levels to put in. You have to collect all the properties of the same color to buy a house. <laughs> oh, Valencia, you're a jokester. That was amazing. Yeah. That's exactly how you uh you get the houses these days, so. Crate and, and how poots take notes. You got to collect all the same colors. Home Chef is a food subscription service where they send you delicious meals and teach you how to cook it. It has changed Crate and I's life because we didn't cook it all. Really? I'll have to look at that. Is that kind of like the HelloFresh type stuff? I can't. I, I have a hard time believing that you didn't used to cook. But that's amazing. I feel like whenever... I see anything in Discord or any stream, you're always cooking something. You're making cookies, you're making spin sorry, spinach puffs. You're making something delicious, so... I find that hard to believe, but I'll look into that. Okay, just notice the time. I need to go to bed. Alright, Blake, have a good one, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight and the rest of the crew. And thank you for that donation and the little dancing kitty. Have a good night. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Now that I'm following you, I can tune into your stream. Nice, brother. Thank you, Reverse Flash. Flash, Flash, 100 Yard Dash. Complete the ritual, yes. My spinach puffs! <laughs> uh, I've always kind of semi-enjoyed cooking, but I'm just so boring. I do a lot of the same things over and over. Or I'll start with the same base. Like, I'll do chicken, but I'll do different spices. I have, like, three different, like, main spice types that I do. I'll do, like, an Italian... I'll do like a Mexican or like taco seasoning. And then I'll do the, the Indian like tikka masala every once in a while. My wife doesn't like that one as much, but I like to have it with rice and veggies. Bye, Blakey boy. Hey, Kaiba boy. Someone stole your sweet roll. Excuse me. <laughs> what? <laughs> My sweet what? The weapon attains its maximum power. Home Chef made me an expert at cooking a risotto. See, you said that the other night, and I was like, you probably could have just gotten away with like not even mentioning it, and, and I would have just thought you were a, a god-tier cook. Are we, like, done with everything except for Yuna now? I am so excited. You uncultured swine. Someone stole your sweet roll. Is the sweet roll, like, a payday candy bar? <laughs> uh, so I just need the, the, uh, the moon sigil now. I got all them sigils. I like that. Mesmerize! Damn. Shots fired. Take him back that spot. Thank you for the $1, buddy. I appreciate you. 
Um, I sacrifice my enraged battle locks and five dollars to summon the blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, except in their main, the, re the first season of the show, they didn't have to sacrifice anything. There was pure chaos. You could fill a deck with seven star monsters. I hope that was actually a close Im imitation of Kaiba. Can anyone help him? I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't forget, don't forget to pass go. Someone stole your sweet roll. You uncultured swine. If Yu-Gi-Oh could be... <sighs> Are you guys still talking about the abridged thing that I have to watch? I'm going to seriously try and watch all of that in the next like two days. And then I will no longer be freaking confused with everything you're saying right now. Crystal's like, Crystal's on the same page as me. She's like, what are you guys talking about? What? Did you get you? you get Valencia. I swear to God. Eat my microphone. I, so I've been told. Great. So I've been told. You might have to take that away. Nah, it's okay. I love it. I'm a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I actually have a new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Funko Pop coming in the next couple days, and I'm really excited for it. I paid a little more than I wanted to for it because I couldn't find it at retail price. Um, I mean, technically, I got it at retail price, but somebody is shipping it to me, so I had to pay shipping as well. The Sweet Roll comment is the only quote. I don't know where that's from. Somebody stole your sweet roll? I don't know. You're gonna have to help me with that one. It's probably some like really popular thing and I'm just being a lame, 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 lame. But anyways, yeah, so I'm trying to fix the pool light because we're gonna have a few friends over this weekend. Um, to, to swim and, and hang out. And I'm really excited for it because we haven't hung out with our friends in quite a while. As one of my friends um, is a medical resident and he's kind of been in like the thick of it in terms of treating patients that have either been exposed to or are positive COVID cases. So finally get to hang out with him again because he's been self-quarantined now for an appropriate amount of time that we can actually see him again. I do have a pool, Valencia. I do. I don't know it. It's a Skyrim reference. I haven't played Skyrim. I actually have it for Switch, and I haven't played it. I got it for like a slam and deal uh, during Black Friday, like a lot of my games that I have, and I haven't played it. Um, oh, Calmlands. Okay, we're going to Calmlands to go to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith or the Here Secret Faith. Is it big and nice? I mean. So I've been... Never mind. Um, it's not like... <laughs> it's like a pretty decent sized pool. It's like six feet deep all the way around though. So it's not like a, a real deep pool. There's no diving board or anything. First game after FF15 is Skyrim. Uh, probably not. But I wouldn't be uh, opposed to playing it in the future. What up, camper? How you doing, buddy? Is it a sphere pool and you're the star player of the Xanarkin Oats? That would be baller. I'd have to learn how to breathe underwater. Or do they not breathe underwater? Or is it kind of like the movie The Abyss, if anybody's old enough to have seen that? How they kind of like breathe water? Okay, where do I go again? Uh, do I go forward here? How is your day camp? How's it going? We just finished our last freaking Blitzball game and I got the Jupiter Sigil finally. Zizanak and Oats. Is this how I get there? I don't recall. It might be on sale today. It definitely is not on sale today. I checked Valencia. I check every day and then I have to report sadly back to you that it's not on sale. But that day that it's on sale, gosh dang it, it's going to be a great day. Can't, can't complain almost hump day. Totally agree. Totally agree. Check once a week. Once a week? Why not once a day? Because it's once a week. <laughs> Alright, let's go catch some stuff. 
I got all them sphere levels to spend. Oh, it's, yeah, I removed play Blitzball, but we still can name Aeons. That is correct. That is still a possibility. Um, but yeah, Blitzball is no longer an option currently. Oh, what am I doing? Are you speedrunning X2? Or oh, are you talking to Camper? Because I am surely not speedrunning that. Because I don't even know how to play that game. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. At some point, probs. Nice. Hey, Camp. Good to see you again. Hell yeah. Always good to see you. Um, so this one is the Ipage. I might have to throw my, um... My stone weapon back on, but I'm not really sure quite yet. Oh, yeah. I've already got all the M's. Okay, cool. Camper, is Final Fantasy X the first game that you really, like, deep, deep dove, deep dived into speedrunning? Daga. Yep. Can't touch this. I can't wait to, to start Mystic Quest tomorrow. Um, Juggalo, when are you? Wow. When are you, are you, are you, when are you streaming that tomorrow? I will definitely pop in and take a look at that. I haven't really seen a whole lot of Mystic Quest gameplay, so. And I've never played it. Actually, I would say yeah, but I did run FF7 for a good bit to start off with. Difference is there's more categories, platforms I can play around with on, on 10. That's cool. The only person that I've actually ever watched play, uh, like any bit of Final Fantasy VII speedrun is Caleb, Kleb. Or whatever you want to call him. And, uh... I can only watch him in small doses. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it seems like a fun speed run, I guess. It's just... I don't know. Y'all can just put in serious sessions of, of play, and I, don't, I just don't think I could ever do that. I don't think I'm really fit to, for the speed run life. But that's cool. Okay, so that's Nidhogg. We're done with the Nidhoggs because we killed so many earlier from another location. An undisclosed location. Those aren't dying in one hit these days. Yeah. hi -ya. I love it. And, I, and Valencia said something about nobody playing it, so... I'm like, hell, let's go. I'm doing it. When are we going to explore Omega Ruins? Very soon, Maz. Very soon. After we GTFO out of here. I've looked into seven speed running and I follow an Aussie speedrunner named DESL3L Diesel. Diesel for seven. That's cool, buddy. That would be fun. I think... I think I would enjoy the challenge of learning it. But just like the sessions, like the long sessions of actually playing, those would really dr be really draining for me. I don't know if I could do that. I've already got all these guys, so let's get out of here. Diesel is good people. Good people. Speedrunning is stressful for both the player and the viewer. Have you ever done any speedrunning? Boots. Diesel is a great dude. Oh, you need to add it. Add to. Add it to the conquest. Oh, Mystic Quest. I was looking at the Crystal Chronicles or whatever it was called, the uh, the new HD thing, and I'm considering maybe adding that.
That game is booty. The Chronicles game is booty? Oh, you tried the demo. I heard people were really, un really liking it. No, I like to take my good old time. Me too. I like to explore, walk around, just casual. I am a straight casual. Always and forever. See ya. See ya. That's it. I knew there was an E, a three somewhere in there. Yeah, I figured it was Diesel in general, but well, back to the grind. I get caught up in the combo, even though Oats buffers a lot. You buffer a lot. I want CC. What's CC? This is just a machine, right? I can actually get this guy. Can I steal and just kill him? That's a big nope. It's a big negative. Oh, I want Crystal Chronicles. Oh, okay. Sames. Hi, Saucy. How are you? All the waves. Seven speed running is only two hours, so not quite a slog. Is that the one where you go into that, like, weird developer room thing or whatever? I don't want it. It's so slow. Hmm. I haven't really watched much gameplay, but I have seen... A handful of people that are uh, that I follow playing it so I don't know <laughs> yup the debug room I mean I guess aside from that like you're still like playing the, a lot of the game but that just seems kind of weird to me I didn't realize you were talking too because you guys have the same color name basically Valencia and Mass Let's do that. I've already got all my corals, but I know this was requested earlier, so here comes the thunder. ka -chow. Thank you, Kamari, for your sacrifice. You will always be remembered. There's other categories, too. Yeah. I mean, I guess if it's something like I don't want to spend like a billion hours playing Final Fantasy 7. I can totally understand that. I just, I don't know if I would want to do that category, you know? Having a shorter run was definitely great. Yeah, that's, you see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You can practice and work on it just like for a couple hours. You don't have to. All right, well, if I want to do another run, here's 28 hours down the drain. You know? Thunder is Kachiga. Kachow. Good chow. Sorry, sorry, Saucy. I apologize. I got it wrong. I'm failing. Am I deep enough in here to the encounter the uh, the tone berries? Because I know I haven't seen the tone berry yet in here. There might be one other thing that I haven't seen in here. But I know to unlock Mr. Don. Dom Corleone, Toneberry. Um, I need to... They usually hang out in the green rooms. Alright. Thanks, Camp. Um, Val... I'm gonna call you Valhalla, because that's a cool freaking name. Oh, cool. Ooh, I hadn't gotten that one yet. So, basically, I just have to encounter a Toneberry to have one of everything. But Legend says the green room has more. Yeah, I figured Toneberry was rare. Or I kind of knew that. Green room, huh? Is this a green room? This is a green room. That would make sense because Toneberry is green. I would have laughed if it was the first battle. That would have been hilarious. I like how you say the legend says. The scroll says. Thanks, Shadow. I'm probably going to put a... Uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably going to die. That's what I'm going to do. When I do ever encounter him. Um, I think we just need these guys here. Oh, we're done with those. And we're done with the Nidhogs as well, so... Later! Later, losers! I don't know. Am I going to die?
That's not the green room. Ooh, that was toasty. Toasty. I, it looks pretty green to me. Well, Titus has no MP left. That flamethrower ability is no joke, man. I'll know it. Oh, okay. I was pretty sure that looks pretty green to me, so. Oh. Can we not use the flamethrower ability? That would be fantastic. Toneberry, uh, deadly. That they are. They do the old stabby stab. Now am I in the green room? Colors are hard, it's okay. It looks green, Farnsey! I don't get it, bruh. I got corals already. We done with coral. Carl. We done with Carl. Carls are complete. That's probably one of the coolest, coolest monster skins, I think, in the game. Alright, well, this is this is handy. Am I in the green room now? There's a lot of green happening here. Like a lot of green. What do you mean, no? How is it not the green room? All I see is green. Are you being serious right now or no? Uh, have fun with the next bit. Wait, what? I don't see no green. What do you see then? Am I colorblind? Are you colorblind? Oh no! Oh wait, Balboro, why are you here? This is fine. Okay, there we go. This is fine. Why are you even here, Balboro? You see blue? Am I the colorblind one then? I never thought I was. You might have to do a th What? Oh, fantastic. Should I have saved? What do I do? Find a Toneberry and then we'll talk. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, thanks. Is this another Dark Aeon just chilling in here? God damn it. Ugh. I didn't say with that last thing. I saved before I came in here. I didn't actually save I save at that sphere. I just healed myself. God damn it. What up, MJ? What up, dude? I don't know. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad. Is this Dark Yojimbo or something? Well then, always save, never shave. We going to see a Toneberry? Tonebari? Toneberry? Like, the real actual name Barry? Maybe. Is there any way out of this? Or am I just like, might as well get it over with? Maybe the autosave worked for me, but I kind of doubt it because it never does. Never, ever, ever. I'm fine. Okay. Coo, coo, coo. I trust you. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Until you're not. God damn it. I don't even know what to believe anymore. This, my whole life is a lie. Like I said, we were watching Spider-Man Far From Home tonight with Jake Gyllenhaal and all those like fancy illusion tech things and you didn't know what was real ever. Am I here? Am I gonna die? You fit in well. Where are all the tone berries? What if the tone berry was in the pot? Not that little bomb, man. Hello, I'm looking for a Toneberry, please. There's a certain point where you might panic, but until then you're fine. Oh, told you in. Th 
this is... Oh my god, Shadow. Well, we're catching monsters, we're doing things. Well, you should have been a little more descriptive of like, hey, you should take a left here. Don't go past that door. No such thing as a tone berry? Apparently not. How do you catch 10 of these, Camper? How do you catch 10 of these? Do you have your stone strike capture things? I do. I can always throw those on in battle. No such thing as a green room. It's all a green screen. There's a stone man. I mean, I could I could put them on like preemptively. I do. I do. Where's that home skillet biscuit? Booyah. Oh my god, I found him! What do I do? Sorry, I meant Ton Berry or Ton Bore. Or a Ton Berry. I don't know anymore. Capture as you will. Flee? No. Uh oh. Karma's a bee. I don't have auto phoenix on, but I mean, Kamari, we need you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I got him. For some reason, I thought he was going to have a lot more life than that, but... Level 2 Key Sphere? No freaking way! I should have tried to steal from him. Alright, that wasn't, like, terrible. Okay, so I got my Tone Berry. Um... Now, about getting out of here. It's Tone Berry. Thank you. Now, get to get 10, right? Ugh. I mean, this is good. Meow. Oh, we can fight some more stuff in here. I'm actually a little scared to leave, so. But is it like, I mean, it sounds like I'll be okay trying to get out of here. Because the last thing I want is to capture all these monsters and then die trying to get out of here. Now the last boss has no chance. Apparently, according to Nessus, the last boss hasn't had a chance against me in quite some time, so... That's nothing new. <laughs> okay, thank you, Camp. I appreciate it. Always looking out. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm waiting for, like, the ultimate grief. Yeah, head on that note, heading to bed. Good luck. Ah, good luck, loser. I have no chance against Nemesis. Probably not. You're probably right on all fronts there, Valencia. So thanks for the... Uh, thanks for the confidence booster. God's am buffering. Juggalo's like, night, camper. Later, dog. Only camper can beat him. Valencia, what will you do if I beat, if I beat Nemesis? Are you taking the under? See, you, camp, enjoy your nap. Yeah. That nap when you turn off your camera and you just listen for the monsters. Nothing was as bad as the Surprise Sisters. That was pretty bad. I had no idea. I'll buy whatever game you want. Damn. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try hard mode engaged. B 
Big naps. Big naps. Any game I want, huh? Dang. Watch like I beat it, and then I get any game I want, and I don't pick Yu-Gi-Oh. Feels, ba feels bad, man. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Shadow, is that Hojo? It is. It kind of looks like Sephiroth, but it's Hojo. Yeah, the Surprise Sisters was pretty good. I almost had a surprise Ifrit, but you politely told me to stop going further in the desert, and we avoided danger there. Stamp pots. If you'd like to join our Discord, friends, there is the link. Would love to have you. Would love it. Ooh. Too bad Pots isn't on the list to capture because I get like 90 of these things. I can recommend Train Simulator with all the detail DLC packs. It's only... Excuse me? $9,765. That cool of you, Valencia? Anyone remember the Alfheim, the Gravestone? You can actually read? I'm not sure what that is, Juggalo. Alfheim almost sounds like Sword Art Online. Might as well, but a train? My brother was playing uh, the semi-truck simulator last week for a little bit. He said it was pretty fun. That's fine. I, yep, I knew it. You keep your word. Train simulator only like 30 bucks. I... I... Might as well just buy the train. Insert everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Please. So, hmm. I was kind of thinking to attempt Dark Veil vale 4. Do I need, um... Oh, I found one. Ambushed me. Man, he's just the coolest monster ever, isn't he? Bye, Felicia. Bow, Nem isn't even hard. What are you doing? At least make it penance. See, he shows up more often now. Maybe. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? No, wait, we have to... Hold on. I was gonna Kamari self-destruct on him, but that's a waste, because I have to actually capture him. <laughs> that, would, that would feel real bad to self-destruct and not even catch him. Rip! See, he shows up now because... Oh, because I got his name correctly. That's kind of like somebody coming into stream. If you pronounce their name right, there's like a 38% chance, a higher chance that they'll show up again more regularly. Hello, Akuma. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, we are done with the Thorns and Zorns and Rip Yorns. Doing okay, just got up. Well, like I said, good morning. I hope you slept well. Ready for another hump day. Zorba. So yeah, the tone barrier is going to be uh, the big pain in the booty here. Um, we've actually almost got as many Tone Berries as the Valhalla's. I know it's Valaha, but I'm calling it Valhalla. And this damn Roblox man or whatever. Come on, get out of here.
Can I put like an accessory on to, to not encounter the pots? Is Gigolo still here? Um, he was a moment ago, but he said he had to get back to work at 1.2. <laughs> I like how you call him Gigolo. Ball row that I don't need. I'm a pretty, pretty bot. Valencia, I am here. Oh, you the gigolo now, Crystal? You never heard of the song Gigolo? I've heard of... I've heard of a... What, I know a, a gigolo. You know, like Deuce Bigolo. I know that guy. <laughs> Hi, Blue. I'm Blue. Bob, bee, bob, bob. Love the nickname. You love being called Gigolo, or you love being called Blue? Blue like the Velociraptor in Jurassic World? Oh, Blue. Yeah, there's Gigolo. I'm Juggalo. God damn it. Now I'm calling him Gigolo. Come, little Toneberry. I'll take thee away. In to a land of enchantment. Um, like in Saga Frontier. Blue is an awesome name. I'm probably going to start around 8 or 8.30 EST. Well, if you're still live around... 11? No. Yeah, like 11 EST, I'll pop in. But, um... That's uh, a little early for me. I will not be awake until at least 8... <laughs> uh, or 8 PST. You don't want to be me. I'm eerie. Okay, I will be there. Um, when will you be finishing? Tonight? Tonight I'll be finishing probably about 12.30, so in like an hour and 20 minutes. 8 a.m. is when tennis starts. Well, when I go to bed at 1, 1 I need to sleep until like 8 o'clock. 7.55 is when my alarm goes off. I, I know you are three hours behind, so yeah, I know. I apologize. I wish I could get up a little earlier, but I got to get try to get at least six and a half hours of sleep. Otherwise, I'm a freaking zombie oat. So I got to I got to wait at 730. Nah. I have a meeting in 40 minutes, so I was just checking. Oh, OK. No worries. You, you want to be present when I uh, leave this this chamber. I know that I'll probably play till 12 or one. Oh, right on. Well, I will pop in for sure. This morning, I, I really had a lot, a lot of stuff to do, so I wasn't able to pop into some of the streams that I normally do um, because I just get too distracted and then I kind of lose my, I get, my... My groove gets thrown off and I kind of get sucked into chatting and watching streams and I don't do my work as efficiently as I should. So if I don't turn the streams on to start with, then I can get my stuff done a little bit quicker without interruption or just beat the game in one day. Yeah. Maybe. I could. It's not super long, but I work during the week. I get to sleep around 8.40 on work days. Like 8.40 p.m.? That's like my wife, actually. What time do you get up in the morning on work days? Hiya! Oh, he didn't counter. Say what? That's three. My wife goes to bed about 9 p.m. every night during the week. Wait, what? You get to... S oh, you sleep in. I thought you meant you go to sleep. 8.40? Dang. You start work at 9, I'm guessing. I work 8 to 5, so my alarm, like, legit goes off at 7.55. Actually, 7.50 and 7.55. Um, but yeah, my wife goes to bed at 9 p.m. Between 9 and 
Because she gets up at five. Because like we said, she works out when she wakes up in the morning. Because she's crazy. I woke up at 10 a.m. today. Damn. Honestly, if I sleep, like, if I wake up and it's 10 a.m. in the morning, I just feel bad. So, usually if I go to bed pretty late, I set my alarm for 9.30 because then I can wake up and not feel like a complete piece of trash. 9 p.m. is an early bedtime. I typically go to sleep around 1 or 2. That's me too. Yeah, but I mean, she, like I said, she gets up at 5. Because she wants to work out before she starts work because she just can't can't drum up the motivation to work out after work as much. Oh, see, she can wake up and join us in Gigolo stream for sure. I'll tell her. I'll let her know. Valencia said, hey, come to Gigolo stream and then we're going to watch some tennis together. But I won't get home from work till 11.30 p.m. I mean, honestly, most nights, if I wanted to, um, I could probably go to bed at like 9.30 or 10. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. So here's my number. Call me someday. I hope you had an amazing birthday, Puka, and that you're still covered in stickers. <laughs> I love early mornings, my body. I, I agree. I love the quietness. And just getting up, making a, a cup of coffee, and especially on days where I can actually like sit outside and enjoy the cool weather when it's actually cool. I love doing that too. I love the idea of mornings more than I like getting up. But yeah, my body feels like death. B-Day boy, yeah. I did. I definitely am not covered in stickers anymore. Damn. That's all right. But regardless, I hope you had a phenomenal 348-month birthday, you baby you. It's only 2.30 a.m. here. The the night or day is young. Something. Something, something. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely more of a night owl, I guess. No, don't go into the light. But it's so appealing. Time full bed. Yeah, 2.30 a.m. is time full bed. Dang. I'm tired, but Craig and I are still cleaning. Dang. When was the last time you cleaned before you guys are cleaning now? And are you cleaning more than one house? <laughs> the Queen of England is coming to visit. I think I'm done with these, right? Yeah. Uh, 29 is getting lit. My version of getting lit revolves my on my doggos licking me. Well. Alright. Alright. Uh, done with these two. This could literally take forever. We worked all day so we couldn't start cleaning. Oh, that makes total sense. Boots, what do you do for work? I feel like my wife told me, but I already forgot. Something in... Pediatrics, maybe? Because I remember her saying that, and I was like, my god. It's destiny. This place must be spotless. I'm gonna wear a glove. A white glove, and if I see dust, it's over. Are the laws coming? I'm a nurse. Oh, awesome. In pediatrics or just like in general? Because she's in pediatrics. Well, she was more in pediatrics, but now it's kind of a mix between adults and peds. Wouldn't take forever in the green room. You know what, Shadow? I'm going to show you a green room. I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you a green room. Nah, just friends. Just friends. Only friends? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, see, totally. Totally destiny. She was doing special needs pediatrics for like five years. So she's a goddamn hero. I just got a Tetra Shield drop from that. Dang. Crazy. Um. No, she wouldn't. 
she would not let you die. I just met her last week, and I know she would not let you die. She's good people. Like Craig, like Craig likes to say, she good people. I got scared for a second. I thought my internet went out. Oh my god, what? Your wife is amazing? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Like I said, she's a goddamn hero. I work in Excel, and she's li literally... I'll leave the house. When I we used to go into the office and stuff, I would be like, well... She would always leave it for me because she started working at like 6.30, but... Like, all right, I'm off to save some lives. One Excel formula at a time. And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm literally saving lives. So I'm like... Coo. Coo, coo, coo. <laughs> we should meet at TwitchCon. If TwitchCon happens again, that would be even... I was really actually looking, looking into going this year, but we all know what happened with that. Stuff, poison, things. I was looking forward to SDCC. MJ, how, uh, how long have you been going to San Diego Comic-Con? Or would this have been your first? Because if you've been going for a long time, bruh, we got to meet up. Um, there was supposed to be one this year. But yes, there is a TwitchCon. That's a thing. I have not been, but I would like to go. I'm sorry, Shadow. I know you guys have a couple good ones. It's in San Diego. So a perfect excuse to go to Disneyland. A third or fourth? Dude, me too. This year would have been my, uh, my third official one. So next time it happens? Bruh. We meeting up. Um, did you have badges this year? Obviously, you said you were looking forward to it. Did you have um did you have all four days in preview night or what did you have? I wanna go. I wanna go too. I say the next time it's in San Diego and it happens, we all gotta go. Disneyland! Disney. Yeah, camp. Are you a Disney fan, camper? I can see it. I can see it in your eyes. You're all about the Disney. We got a lot of Disney fans in here. Myself included. My girlfriend and I get the four days and preview. You say it in a way that you're like, yeah, we just kind of pick the one that we want. Not like it's uh, it's like a rare thing to get. <laughs> uh, the first two years I got um, four days plus preview. I didn't manage to get preview night this year. It sold out before I could get it, but I was able to get... Uh, uh, the four days. No preview. Uh, yeah, for sure, Camper. I'd love to see that. Disney lowered my hours. Got 30 only for next week. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, it's always good to have less hours and more free time, but it's bad because less hours equals less money. Uh, we work on film and TV, so we applied for the professional status. Damn, that's awesome. Hook a brother up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously. I think I'm done with these guys, actually. That's really cool, though. I am just a general pleb, so... I get the general badge. <laughs> but it's always a lot of fun. Last year was, like... The first year that I really, like... Worked hard and planned... And did a bunch of stuff to where, like... I had... Plan A, B, and C... For when I missed something or lines were too long or whatever. It's just, yeah, an easier window for sure. It's a me thing. All right, let me see this, this, this awesome picture. Oh my God. That's totally on Space Mountain too. That's amazing. <laughs> like your soul is leaving your body. <laughs> That's amazing. We have some really good pictures on like Splash Mountain and stuff. We have a really good one on, uh, on the Incredicoaster, where I have my Yoda backpack, and I somehow managed to get it to where I'm almost completely covered by the backpack. So it looks like Yoda is just chilling next to my wife on Incredicoaster. It was amazing. I loved what they did. Yeah. You know what they did when they did um, Star Wars or Hyperspace Mountain was the best Space Mountain. That picture is 
pretty godlike. I just want Disney to be free and empty. That's like... Just goals, dreams. Yeah, I need that as an emote. I haven't made it to California Adventure Side. Ooh, MJ, you got something to... You got somewhere to be. It's a lot of fun. And there's beer. And alcohol. So, even more reason to go to the DCA. Craig's sunglasses are lost in the Twilight Zone from five years ago. I have, I can one-up that. Um, I lost my wallet on uh, Big Thunder Mountain. <laughs> so, once I get more emotes, left his sunglasses on on his shirt and they flew away. Hopefully, they weren't a uh, they weren't an expensive pair of sunglasses. I am terrified of that now because I finally, for the first time in my life, actually bought expensive sunglasses. <laughs> so yeah, um, I had my backpack. It was at night, of course. It was our last day, I believe. And uh, we were getting ready for the we were waiting for the fireworks and stuff. We were going on like one more ride. So I, uh, they were very expensive. Of course they were. Of course they were. Like Ray-Bans or Oakley's or something. Um, and I was notorious for not zipping my backpack, backpack up all the way. So we ride the ride. We go to um, World of Disney before we head out. And we're going to buy a few things, right? So I do that thing where you open your backpack and you're like, oh, you can't find the wallet. You can't find it. You're like, oh, well, it's probably just buried. You start to panic a little bit. It's still not there. It's still not there. And I'm like, wow, I actually lost my wallet. Um, so we go to like, guest services, lost and found, blah, blah, blah. Like, hey, did anybody turn in a wallet? And we're like, we think we lost it on a ride. They're like, it's probably not going to get found for, you know, until they clean the ride or something. And I'm like, well, awesome. That sucks. So I had to cancel my credit card. I had to get a new ID. Um, I think I had like 65, 70 bucks in there. So that was probably... God, I don't know when that was. Like a December trip or something. So here's the kicker. Fast forward to August of the next year. So like nine months later, I get an email saying, Hi, this is so-and-so from Disney Lost and Found. Or so-and-so. But we believe we have found your wallet according to the ID. Would you like us to send it to you? I'm like, well, I don't need it now, but sure. So they found my wallet. They sent it back to me. Everything was still in it, except for the cash. So that goddamn greedy cleaning worker stole all my money and then sent the wallet back, thinking that he was a good Samaritan. I mean, I, I kind of expected the cash to be gone, but... I couldn't, Im I couldn't believe it. Nine months later, they find my wallet on the ride and they send it back to me. It took them that long to clean the ride. I don't know. It must have been like tucked back in the darkest, deepest corner of the mountain, guarded by Schmeagol, Schmurgle, Gollum, and uh, that one dragon that guarded the other thing. But that was my story of losing my wallet. So um, I'm not allowed to hold things, important things like tickets, because I opt, I. I drop things, I lose things, apparently. And yeah. Okay, so I rode Tower of Terror a few years back and my glasses were clipped onto my shirt. And they were Ray-Bans? Of course they were, yep. Of course, yeah, so I have Ray-Bans now. It's the first expensive pair of sunglasses I've ever owned. And I'm terrified to, to lose them. Before that, I've only ever bought like $15 sunglasses from Target and from Swap Meets. Weird that they actually never found cash in any wallet found on a ride. I know, it's weird, right? We should do an experiment. We should lose wallets on purpose and put different denominations of money in there. That's Craig. He's clumsy. Yep. I had another funny story. We were at a... We were in Vegas for a basketball... Um, college basketball tournament. And uh, our tickets for the games, they came in these booklets. And I kid you not, like, I was handed my booklet... And my wife was like, give me the, give me the tickets. I'm not going to, uh, uh, you're not, you're going to lose them 
or you're gonna drop them. And I'm like, I'm totally good. Literally, I go to like put them in my other hand. I drop the booklet on the floor and the person behind me picks them up and gives them to me. And I look back at her and I'm just like, And I hand her the and I hand her the booklet of tickets and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, my best friend's glasses went flying on the Jurassic Park ride. You know what's amazing? When I went to Universal last year, I didn't know there was gonna be a drop. We get we are riding through the ride, literally there's water spraying at you from wherever, who knows where. We kinda get to the top. It, the, the ride gets stuck for a solid five minutes. I'm like, okay, well, this has been okay. I'm like, what's gonna happen after this? My wife's like, oh, I don't even know. She knew. I had no idea there was gonna be a drop. So, I mean, I wasn't scared, but I was more shocked than anything. You can't blame me for the Tower of Terror. Yeah. I think it's always fun. I mean, obviously now Guardians, but it's always fun to have like something in your hand, like a coin. And as you drop, like watch the coin, like go up into the air and come back down. I always enjoy that. My girlfriend is the same. I'm not allowed to handle anything after I almost lost my passport. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, so anyways, yeah, we actually had to fly home from that trip where I lost my wallet, so I didn't have an ID. So when we got to the airport, I had to go into this little side room, and they had to start asking me personal, like, questions about my myself, my family. Um, and I think the question that, like, sealed it for them, like, yeah, this is you, is I think they asked for my, my parents' birth dates, like, day, month, year. And they said, you'd be surprised at how many people don't know their parents' actual birthdays. I was like, okay, cool. So I'm good to go? They're like, yeah, you're good to go. So that was awkward. We were actually like really, really anxious and, and scared that we wouldn't be able to go home. Papoots, my doggos booped the phone and highlighted your chat message, so they booped you with her nose. So yeah, that was probably the... Worst thing that's happened to Disney for us, I think, is me when I lost my wallet. I can't think of any other ones right now that we lost something. Oh, another funny one is um, I wasn't on this trip, but um, my wife went with her sister and her sister's friend. And for some reason, my wife wanted to take my, my Mickey black Nike hat. I don't know why. She's like, I just, you know, I just want another option of a hat to wear. And it's a cute hat. I'm like, okay, sure. So, like, the second to last day they're there, I get a picture. And it's her and my my sister-in-law and the friend. And they're, they're, like, sad faces pointing at her head. And I'm like, what? She's like, I may have lost your hat. I'm like, what do you mean you lost my hat? She's like, we were on Grizzly at night and we decided to ride it twice in a row because nobody was on it. And we were going down one of the drops and my sister's, fr or, um, yeah, my sister's friend threw her hands up, hit the hat, flew off my head, and it was just swallowed by the river. And I was like, that's like a $60 hat. What the deuce? So my, my, or my sister-in-law's friend felt terrible. They all thought it was hilarious, of course. But she was gracious enough to buy a new hat. So anyways, that's the last time my wife ever gets to take my hat. She's got a million hats. And she had to take mine. Um, oh my god, Puka, I'm so incredibly blessed. Send my love to them. The dogs are amazing, Puka. We will go to Disney together one day. I agree. That would be so much fun. I'm ready for her to show up in the background with said replacement hat on. Right? Yeah, I was... I was... I mean, I wasn't mad. I was more just like... Because I, I specifically remember her saying, uh, saying to her, like, why do you need to take my hat? You have, like, three baseball caps all with different Disney stuff on it. You have like 97 pairs of ears. Why do you need my hat? 
She's like, well, I don't have a black one. I'm like, come on! <laughs> so, yeah. So, you leaving this room soon? Um, probably, because I still need six tone berries. Yeah, how do you do the tone berries so quickly? According to Shadow, if you were in the green room, it would go faster. Okay, so now that you're actually all here, and I know Camper's here, um, I'm going to leave the room. So, am I good to just, uh, like, leave, or... The Beat Marie. What's going on? Thank you so much for the raid. The Beat Marie. Ooh, you're playing Final Fantasy 12. Thank you so much for the raid, Bur uh, the B Marie, and for the follow. Welcome in. Raiders, welcome in as well. We're catching monsters, and we're about to leave this room and apparently, hopefully not die, but... My name is Oat. I'm playing through Final Fantasy 1 through 15. Currently on Final Fantasy 10. And what's up? Pop Tarts. I'm glad I wore this shirt tonight. Welcome to the Disney Street. Camper, did you get the game favors? <laughs> nice, playing them all. Yes, 100%. And the double shout out always. Okay, I'm leaving this room, so please help me. Send help. I'm going to tiptoe out of here. Maybe if I go... Okay, I thought that was it. I'm like, oh, God, it's happening. Oh, Kimari's just taking a dirt nap. Drink the water. Thank you, Crystal. Uh, I've done that, too. It's a great adventure. How many of them were blind for you? Um, so far, Final Fantasy V, the majority of eight, um, and then, like, the first few, one, two, and three... Um, and then after this one, basically everything is blind for me. 10-2, 12, all the 13s, and 15. So, yeah, it's gonna be, I'll, it's gonna be a fun adventure. Alright, we're tiptoeing out of here. We're tiptoeing out of here. Oh, son of a... Bleh. Why... I need help. Panic. Time to panic. Here comes the boom. You guys are going to help me out here, right? So there's something in the room that will help you escape. Just don't run towards him. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. We good, boys. We good. Thank you. I would have panicked, ran into him, lost the last hour of, of catching monsters, and I would have cried my little eyes out. <sighs> Crisis averted. Okay, so Marie, my favorite. It's such a hard question for me. Um... Oh, it is my first pick when it comes to escape rooms next TwitchCon. Let's go. I'll do a I'll do an escape room with you. I have I have never failed an escape room in real life. I've done three of them. Poots was like, rip the dream, boys, rip the dream. Oh my god, what? This guy's a wizard. Um, where's the closest save point? Shadow, where's this goddamn green room. Is this like the red room in, uh, frickin' Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> Camper, how many Twitch cons have you been to? Because I have not been to one, and I was kind of looking forward to going this year, but it just didn't, uh, it didn't pan out. Wait, is this the same room? Exiting is probably the fastest save point? Okay. Yep. You, uh, you witnessed it firsthand, Poots. Magic happened tonight. Okay, I'm gonna go back back out. A la derecha. I went to the first two. They were more fun hanging outside the con than the actual con. I think that's kind of it. Like, just meeting people. 
and hanging out and doing all sorts of stuff like that, for sure. I went to the one last year. It was pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm really excited to go. I think it'd be really cool to meet uh, meet people, basically. Is this the exit? Yeah. Um, I did an escape room the morning of my wedding as something like a bachelor party. Nice. I, I had my bachelor party like two days before the wedding just because it was so much more convenient for everybody being in town. Um, well, you guys, I'm going to go to bed for now. Good night. All love you crazy people. Puka, have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out. And again, happy birthday yesterday. I hope it was amazing. And we'll talk to you very, very soon. Say good night to all of your doggos for us. Every single one of them. Um, now that I know more people on Twitch, I think it'd be great to meet up with people in real life. I agree. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Where is TwitchCon? Um, it was in San Diego. The stick to Cali, but kind of change around. Yeah, and they also have one in Europe. Right, Maz, if you're still here? I don't remember exactly where it was. It was like... But they had one in Europe as well. Isn't like the Red Room of Fifty Shades of Grey, famous words of Oats Man, and now I will never be sane again. <laughs> Good night, doggos. Boop you too. Ah. Okay. Let's head to the green room. Bye. Good night, my friends. See you soon. Bye, Craid. Later, buddy. I hope you guys got a lot of cleaning done tonight. All the cleaning. And that your house is spotless and ready for inspection. All right, we're going towards the green room now. Shadow says, I think it's right, question mark. We're going to sleep, too. Yeah, that's totally okay. Nice to meet you, too, Marie. I Hopefully, I will shoot you a follow and pop into stream sometime as well. But thanks for the follow and the raid. I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for the, for the little hearts. And we'll talk to you next time. Poots and Kraid, I hope you guys have an amazing night. Always great to talk to you for a little bit. I still see dirt. That's where you messed up. You done messed up. You should have uh, you should have waited till the night before and cleaned. Or you could just hire somebody. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a, a great night. You sleep well. Can't wait to see one of your guys' streams again. But I know you have company coming in. So, like, this way, Shadow? Hype! God, I still need six tone berries. Feels real bad, man. Is this the green room, Shadow? The floor is green. Is this it? I think so. The other, green, the other room was so much greener. Watch the first thing be a tone berry. Sleep is greater than cleaning. I agree. And I hope you get lots of wonderful sleep. Restful. REM sleep. Green room! Green room! I can't believe I ran into another dark Aeon again. Luckily, they give you a chance to be like, GTFO, before you, you know, you know mistakes were, mistakes were made. Again. Ball Boro. Oh, oh, oh. MJ, if you're still here, what, what, what's kind of like, what do you like to do at Comic-Con? What's your, what's your jam? Do you like to go to the panels if you can? How did you do with the lotteries uh, last time? Anyways, I need to have a meeting soon, so I'll talk to you soon. All right, Shadow, good luck with the meeting. Hope you don't get fired. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon, dude. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> whenever whenever somebody calls me in for a meeting higher on the streets camper thank you so much buddy for the subscription i appreciate you enjoy your emotes happy one month always welcome thanks for getting me out of that sticky situation um didn't do any of the lotteries don't do signings really but definitely make a panel schedule i found one nice uh, last year, I did the uh, Cobra Kai panel, which was awesome. 
Um, I found a random one where I got to go see the uh, angry video game nerd. That was kind of fun. A little surreal. Um, but I haven't, I've never been into Hall H before. Um, I just haven't, I don't know. I do like more of the exclusives and lotteries at times. But I hit all the offsites and the night events. Nice. September hype. Ooh, wait. Is September where everything is a little bit cheaper right now? Like there's like a 10 or 20% off subs. I can't remember. I saw an email for that the other day. But I'm trying to think of the other panels I saw. I definitely put in, ooh, another one. This place is, this place is full of tonberries. Um, we like to check out all of the artists. I saw, I did a couple of them. One of them that I always like to check is, um, crap, what's his name? The subs are cheaper right now. Awesome. It's like 20% off or 10% off. I should totally do something about that. I can sub to more people this, this month. I try to keep like the amount of streams I sub to like around 10 a month because then it gets a little too expensive. We never try for panels. You have to sit for days. Yeah. I try to go to like the smaller ones of the things that I like. Um, I think, I mean, I have a few friends that if I wanted, or people that I know, that I wanted to go to some of the bigger ones, I could let them know and, like, hang out with them, but it's definitely waiting for a long time. One month is three ninety nine. That's freaking baller. I can do, like, 15 subs this month. I'm excited. There's always way more people that I want to sub to, but I'm not able to because I just, I try to set my limit at, like, right around, like, $50 of subs per month because it can get out of hand real quick <laughs> yeah marvel is real 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 long one or like when game of thrones was there walking dead stuff like that um i, I definitely tried to get some of the autograph stuff but i've never been successful with the autograph um lotteries ever since i had them with lottery uh the biggest one we do is the adult swim panel but it's basically staying in the same room all day so we pack food for sure yeah totally um so yeah, last year, was it last year or two years ago? I stayed for a couple early ones and then I stayed for, I want to say it was like the WB something rather, because I got to see like the cast of the hundred and some stuff like that. But I usually put in for like the, like the one that I really, really wanted the past two years was Supernatural because I love Supernatural and I want to say it was one of their last um, Comic Cons, but unfortunately I didn't didn't hit that one i think last year with lotteries i hit um i got to do the hasbro line which was pretty cool um i can't remember i got something else too the supernatural panel oh nice the hundred is a good show i liked it too yeah that's cool i didn't theirs is always on sunday they gave away the car the actual car? What? That's amazing. I take it you didn't win. <laughs> You're like, by the way, I drive that. Is the trunk full of weapons? Because that would be amazing. And everyone got little tiny ones. That's cool. Yeah, the panel, their panel is always on Sunday, I think. But one person got the car. God, that'd be like a dream, right? I'm trying to think of what else I got lotteries for last year. I don't remember. I know two years ago, I, got, I, I was able to go to the Funko line, but in the afternoon, so it was kind of picked over a little bit. Um, oh, I got one of the Lego sets last year as well. And then I stood in line for one of the Lego minifigures last year. Um, it was for the, the Barb from Stranger Things little minifigure. Um, that's the one where you stand in line for a long time and then you hit a little thing on an iPad and you either get a yay or a nay. And, uh, my friend was there with his dad. And so they, the two of them went in front of me. They both got it. And then I didn't get it. And I was pretty sad. But since my friend's dad just gives him all the stuff, his stuff anyways, my friend gave me his. So I was... 
I was pretty happy and gracious. You haven't even you haven't seen the show? You just went to go? Yeah, he was a, that was super good. Super good of him. Uh the show's good. It's a really, really, really long running show. There's like God, are there 20 seasons? Maybe not quite 20, but each season also has like 25 episodes in it, so it's kind of like uh I'm trying to think of what other show to compare it to. Like Grey's Anatomy just runs forever. I think that year we, there was Doctor Who after Oh, I see. Yeah, that's always the big thing to do is like if you're gonna if you're gonna like wanna see one or two things in Hall H, get there in the morning and just stay there all day. You might as well just plan for the whole day to be of being there. All right, this room, I Shadow, I know you're not here right now, and I'm going to say it while you're not here. You're right. This room has more tone berries. Confirmed. I've never made it to any cons. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I mean, I started out just going to like local ones like in my city and in my state before I uh, moved up to doing some of the, the larger ones. Oh my god, we're almost done. The legends were were true. We got a lot of spheres to do as well. Been to Anime Con here in Missouri. Ooh, how was that? Was it fun? One second. Um, it was last year, but got canceled this year. Kind of sad. I wanted more knives. Yeah. Two more. Yes, I know. We're almost there. They've been they've been coming a lot more frequently now, so uh, we cosplay we cosplay a little here, but it's tough because it's hot. Yeah, it's I mean the weather's no, not like terrible, but just like the sun is intense. I don't cosplay; I just wear comfortable clothes, and I had a big hat because I'm pasty. And if I was standing in line outside. I remember when I stood in line to go see the 100 panel, I was standing in line, one of the lines, I don't remember which hall, I think it was the Indigo room, so it's, it's more of a popular room, but it was like a serpentine line out by the, the, the water. Well, we make sure the cosplay works for an all-day thing. Yeah, yeah. I've been to a ton of concerts and stuff, but never any cons. I've, and I'm the opposite, like, I haven't been to that many concerts. Karma. Like, a Mario outfit is pretty low maintenance, for sure. Yeah, there's some pretty outstanding cosplays. San Diego Comic-Con is a great place to just, like, people watch, too. Indigo room line is exactly what I was thinking about, Hot. Yep. Because, like, it's in the same place every year. Why not put up a tent? Like, at least you get a little bit of the breeze coming off the water, but it's in the direct sunlight. <laughs> And I think it was an afternoon panel as well. Exactly. It's the same it's the same place every year. Or like that line for the Lego minifigures. If you ever seen that one, it starts at the back of like the convention. It goes down those those stairs and then wraps all the way towards the like the uh the docks or whatever. It's crazy. Whatever. Uh right, we need one more toneberry, I think. It's one of those things where, like, when I get to 10, I don't necessarily believe it. And I feel like I have to kill another one, or ca catch another one just to make sure. I'm getting really hungry. 
Yeah, just in case for sure. Poor Shizzle. Oh, I'm really excited for the September thing that Camper mentioned. I didn't realize they were cheaper, cheaper this month. MJ Swish. Yeah, I've never actually, I've never cosplayed. I've never really had any interest in it, to be honest. I mean, technically I dressed up for Halloween at Disneyland when we went one year, but I've never done cosplay at a, at a convention. Kimari. Oh my god, I think we're done. I don't do posing and that kind of stuff, but just kind of walking around as Ash or Mario. Yeah, something like a little simple. That, that makes sense. Can't do a Spider-Man suit. Yeah, that sounds really uncomfortable. Um, I think I might just do one for insurance here. Just in case I, I lost track or I miscounted. When I did dance, we had an Assassin's Creed theme where we dressed in the cloak, if that counts as cosplay. I mean, kinda. I would say so. That's pretty cool. You're just like crawling up onto things and jumping down, trying to just stab people in the back of the neck. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Well, I think after I finish that, I think I've already unlocked Don Julio Toneberry. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm not really exactly sure the setup for it. I know I'm going to have to have auto Phoenix. Yeah. If the judges gave us bad score, they, they had an accident. Yeah. An accident. <laughs> they, they couldn't actually find the team who won because the team just disappeared. I like it. What kind of uh, what kind of dance did you guys did you do? Yeah, totally counts. Totally. If the other team doesn't show up for their uh, their uh, reward or awards, then they forfeit. Forfeiture. Bow, bow, bow. I was on a hip hop team for about a year. Oh, cool. That's neat. Were you one of the break dancers? Were you like flipping around all over the place or? So it's like real, real life. Um... God damn it, what's that, what's that movie called? Was able to perform in South Korea thanks to them. That's really cool, actually. To travel, ar travel around and do some cool stuff like that. That would be fun to be able to, to be on a team that travels just to see some new places. Uh, God damn, what's that movie series called? Or movie? Uh, I don't remember. There's like four of them. The first one has Channing Tatum. No, not Save the Last Dance. It's like cr battle crews battling. Yeah, step up for sure. It's like real life step up. <laughs> I actually kind of like those movies. I've probably seen all of them. Julia Stiles was good in it. In Save the Last Dance? <laughs> I don't think she was in Step Up. I've seen Save the Last Dance too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say. I don't remember her. Oh my god, okay, this could be it. 
This is our confirmation here. If this if this isn't say we're over the limit, then I don't know what's going on in my life. Take that. Yes, it's over. Okay, this room officially is a better room. So thank you, friends. Thank you, Shadow. I know you're not here, but that way I don't have to thank you in person. <laughs> but it's on record. Ow. Actually, did I finish the Dark Element, dudes? He can check the VOD. Yeah, he can. I know. Watch me get out of here and I haven't finished these Dark Element guys. I'm pretty sure I have, though. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're good. We good. Yeah, let me put my uh, no encounters on. To get out of here. To get out of here. I mean, that wasn't awful, but it still took a, it still took a little bit of time. So as for monster catching, I think we basically have Omega Ruins, um, and then Inside Sin. I think that's it. Wow. We're actually closer than I thought. So yeah, we'll be going into Omega Ruins sooner than later. I don't know why I didn't go to, uh... Oh wait, I had to go here first. No doy. Uh, the catching to get to penance. Um, catching 10 of every monster is to unlock Nemesis, I believe. So I was doing that to, you know, have the option. I actually don't know how to unlock penance, to be honest. Save. The Dark Aeons? Okay, so you finish all the Dake... The Dake? The Dake Aarons? The Dark Aeons, okay. Right on. The Dank Aarons. That sounds like the coolest Blitzball team name ever. <laughs> I'd play for that team. Screw the Aurochs, I'm going to the Dank Aarons. We're done with that. I'm going to save this. Close it. Get it off the screen. Hi. I've created the ultimate horned beast. Would you like to take a swing at it? I finally found a place I can build in Minecraft. Awesome. Watch out for the creepers. Always. I'll always try it for the first time. And get destroyed. Oh, this is Juggernaut, isn't it? It is. I know that from watching your stream, Camper. Don't remind me? Yeah. Can I steal from this? I know you get the, the strength things from beating him. But I'm not going to be able to kill him. I know that. At least not right now. I mean, we could try this. This might work. You guys ready? This is totally going to work. Yeah, it didn't work. Wonderful. Um, World champion. Hell yeah, we're going to slice and dice. <laughs> okay, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady. Bye! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Yeah, we it was very, very close. We almost had him. Stop. 
still lurking. What's up, gamer? Uh, sure. Is this the Don Tomberry? Yeah. All right. Oh, we could we can still do this, right? I should be in bed, but I want to practice with Hearthstone. Nice. I I always like feel like I could get better at Hearthstone. I don't. I haven't played in a long time, but when I used to play. How much damage is he going to do to me? That's the real question. Is this just based on how many people I've killed? Oh, that's like the max damage, right? Let's go. I've killed all sorts of things. I'm gonna try to hit him one more time. Camper, when you do this, do you have a uh, like double or triple AP weapon on, or do you just have the uh, overdrive to AP? I know something that I don't, that I'm not using is I don't think I have the uh, the overdrive set like stoic and what's the other one, comrade. Let's see how much I get for this. Okay, so obviously I'm not doing it correctly. My Titus has minimum health, so it goes much faster. Okay, yeah, he has a warrior currently. That's why. Okay. And then the other ones are supposed to have Comrade. Okay. That's cool. I, mean, I probably would have gotten a, a decent amount still from that. Oh, okay. Yeah, Waka does, but Kamari doesn't. Where is it? Hold on, I gotta I gotta organize my stiff. Yeah, I'm trying to do most of this just based off of memory of watching your stuff, to be quite honest. Yeah. OD to AP goes on a weapon. Okay. Yeah, I have that on um, on Titus and uh, Waka. Oh, no, no, no. Carry on. Carry on. Yeah, no worries. I just wanted to have someone with auto Phoenix. Like, should I throw, like, Auto Phoenix on my, my haste shield as well? I'll probably do, what, Auto Phoenix and... Maybe, like, Auto Protect or something? Well, just for the time being, I can, uh... I can give it a shot again. How much does it cost? I know I have cash. Oh, it's only 8,000. That's not bad.
So the damage that Karma does, is that that's based off of how many monsters you've killed with that character? I did, yeah. I haven't gone back to um, to wants yet. He sells weapons and armor with the four free slots, which might be better to customize. For um, for armor or for for weapons? Just the armor. Yeah, I bought a couple from him the first time that I had run into him. Um. But I haven't gone back to him quite yet. Do you usually have more than one armor for each character, depending on like kind of like what you need? All right, we'll see if this worked. There we go. 200k, no bad, no bad. Definitely not like 2 million, but not bad. I mean, it would be nice to have like um, a four slot weapon with um, my main three and focus on them for sure. For sure. It'd be nice to have a weapon with like if I'm going to do this with OD to AP, triple overdrive, triple AP. And it would, it would just make it go faster. Like, do I have the items for those things? Or is triple AP only something that can be dropped? For weapons. I have double AP. Oh, there it is. Oh, wings to discovery. I don't know where to get those offhand. I knew I got, I know I got them as a reward for one of the monster parts. Oh, okay, right on. Is it like four slotted uh, triple AP? Or I'm sorry, yeah, four slotted triple AP weapons? I have, what, two? I still have quite a few more of those. Must be a lot of stuff in Omega. Three slotted is the max. Oh, okay, one of which is filled in... Um, so you can put OD and triple overdrive. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, well... I mean, I'm, I, I, I don't necessarily need to fight more of these guys. Um, I, mean, I guess I'll fight one more. Hey, Alex, what's up? Um, how's it going in Final Fantasy X? It's going great. I'm trying... Oh, ambushed, huh? I'm I'm working on side quests, a lot of side quest stuff. I finished my Blitzball finally tonight. I got the Jupiter Sigil. Was working on catching monsters um, to unlock some of the stuff at the Monster Arena. Accidentally ran into Dark Yojimbo. Barely escaped with my life. Um, but we're, we're, we're slowly getting to the point where I'm going to start preparing for the Dark Aeons. I'm trying to plat this game on PS4. Very nice. I know Camper has probably done that many a time. But that's awesome. Is this one of your favorite Final Fantasies? I'm doing side quests. Awesome. What are you uh what are you working on right now in your side quests? I'm just grinding a little AP at the moment. How far do I want to push it? <laughs> I'm gonna try a third one. Good luck with the plat. Yeah, it's a it's a lot. Defeated some dark aeons using Ojimbo. Very nice. I think I was gonna try to like kill most of the dark aeons like without using the the one hit kill, but I might like you know keep it in my back pocket just in case. Completing the sphere grid and more. Nice. I like it. So, for platinum, completing the sphere grid is unlocking every single sphere plus putting something in the empty ones, right? It doesn't matter what you put in there, but just putting something in there. 
I'll probably put my spheres in later so I don't have to do it on stream, but I'm also trying to platinum Final Fantasy VII Remake. Awesome. I have still yet to play Final Fantasy VII Remake because I was waiting um, until after my, my 1 through 15 playthrough. Awesome. That's cool. So I'll probably do, you know, 15 and then go into the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I surprisingly haven't seen, like, any spoilers or anything. Because now it's it's finally, like, really not on Twitch that much. Like, in the first month or two when it was out. Everybody beating the normal game. And then everybody playing it again on hard mode. I'm trying to plat the remake as well. Dang. How many hours did the remake take? Just playing through at, like, a casual pace. I'd like to do 10, but I don't know if I'll be able to. It seems like it's a, a, a pretty tough chore. But pretty rewarding to be able to finish it. I mean, I might as well. I, I guess I could just start putting some in right now. I wasn't going to do too much more after this. Uh, it takes two replays if you decide to do uh, hard mode. Why does it take two? I mean, without spoiling anything, why does it take two replays? Hi, Valencia. What up, what up, what up? Hard mode isn't unlocked until you beat it once. Oh, you meant two playthroughs just in general. I thought you, you meant you had to play through hard mode once and then play through hard mode again. What's that up there? Zombie attack. Oh, that's a level three, four. What is that? Oh my god. Oh, it's because I can't move there. <laughs> like, what is it doing? Uh, Aji. First play is either classic, normal, or easy. Then if you beat one of those modes, then hard mode is next. Okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people, you know, they played through the regular one and they jumped right into hard mode. Because they were just loving the game so much. I'm really excited to play it. I really am. But I've been able to, you know, hold off from doing it. Should I, um... Should I grab and trust on... Like, if I, if I get it with Titus, should I bring a few pe few friends over here to grab it? Is it worth getting? You're doing it on normal currently, Juggalo? Cool. Have you played through it before? Is this like a second playthrough? Or um, are you playing it for the first time? Do I even have friend spheres? I have three. I could. I could bring a couple homies here. Is it worth getting this one? Oh, it's only one. Um... I could. Is 
Then I would have to use a return sphere too, which is okay, I guess. Well, he's actually almost, he's going the same direction right now. Um, who would be the other one? I'd probably be using Riku the most. So I could probably use a friend sphere for her. Where is he? Oh my god. Then I'll return. I hate this app. I'm sorry, Juggalo. Yeah, it can be super annoying. I don't... I mean, I'll, I'll use the app to watch sometimes, but it's so annoying with the, with the lag or the delay. I don't like the delay. Okay, where was I? Or where did I want to go? I think I wanted to go up here. I mean, I guess I could have stayed in that one. Gosh dang it. Am I playing? Yeah, I'm going to play all of the 13s. Dang, I, I should have just stayed there. Oh well. But yes, sir, I am going to play all of them. <laughs> as good or bad as they may be. Okay, so I want to go to probably Waka next. Um, so we'll go over here. MJ, have you played all the 13s or have you played any of them? Uh, 13 is going to be interesting for me because it'll be the first one since I found your channel that I that will have spoilers. Oh, I mean, feel free. If, if there's something that you don't want to watch because of spoilers, don't feel like you have to watch. I do that sometimes. Like when people are playing Final Fantasy 7 Remake, I wouldn't watch just because I didn't want to see spoilers. I have 13 for 316. I never finished it. Ah, okay. You know, I've had people with other earlier games that they're like, I might pop in from time to time, but probably not too much because I haven't played this game. No way it'll give me a reason to go back. Sounds good, dude. Many spheres. At least when I do highlights for this uh, this stream, there won't be quite as many because it's going to be a lot of sphere grid and a lot of just monster catching. But I'm excited for the other two because I know I'll probably never play those. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have basically said, you know, it's... They're not the best. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> But I can't just not play them, you know? They're part of the main series, so. Gots to do it. I'm down to see them, for sure. You'll live vicariously through me. And you won't have to suffer through it if it's terrible.
MJ Swish. You got a new nickname, MJ. You should really play at least 13, like the main numbered one. Yeah. I'm gonna check my, my stats after I finish this, see where I'm at with like my strength stat and stuff like that. But I think what's the max? 255 or something like that? Something around there. We're getting, we've got quite a few strength spheres from this last 90 sphere levels. <laughs> Welcome back, Shadow. Um, I did it while you were gone, but I'll thank you in person. Um, that, uh, that room, there were quite a few more, uh, tone berries. So thank you. Legend of the green room proceeds itself. Got a luck one. Meh. We fought Don Ton Don Tonberry a couple times. So we got some some sphere levels just finishing up here. Um I wanna check my stats. I'm at 106. Is is the max 255? Anybody that knows. I think that's a, probably a good stopping point. I'll probably throw in the rest of the sphere levels uh, for the other people later on. Okay. I'm probably going to have to kill a bunch of those uh, juggernauts to get those uh, strength spheres then. Because if you... Say you finish the sphere grid without filling in any of the empty nodes, can you hit 255? Or do you have to put in strength stuff? Do you know how to get more spheres to activate? Um, like more of the like strength stuff? Oh, I didn't, I didn't use that one. Um... You can get to about 180. I know you can kill the Juggernaut guy in the Monster Arena to get more Strength Spheres. Um, just from watching Camper. Like Ability Spheres, etc. Uh, I'm guessing from Monsters? But I don't know. Maybe I'm not understanding what you're asking. Like these guys? I'm guessing you get them from different monsters. The red ones? Uh, just from killing monsters, right? I feel like we've been getting the, the red ones all game just from killing monsters. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding your question. There's a way to get lots. I'll talk to you there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know offhand. I had just been getting them just just from killing stuff. Uh, the stream was good. Thanks, Crystal. Appreciate you hanging out for the entirety of it, pretty much. Wish I could actually watch without buffering while at work. Uh, me too, Juggalo. I'm sorry the times don't align for you. Like 40 a battle? Damn. Right, I'm gonna save one more time. 